Hey guys, Bill Zimmerman here. This video is going to be a tutorial, an overview of VooPlayer. I'm going to show you how to create a video, customize your options, add a couple of overlays, and add the video to your site. Okay, so first step is going to be to add your hosted video URL. I already have that in Notepad here to make things easy, so I'm just gonna copy that, paste that in there. Now you can use either um, any self-hosted URL or a video, um, whether it's on Amazon S3 or some type of other service or if it's on your own server, you can even use uh, videos that you have on YouTube as well. And next step is going to be to add your preview or splash screen if you do want to have that. I have that as well here, make things easier. Okay. Now you add your width and your height. Let's just say I want it 600 by 400. As you can see, the auto preview is going. Uh, that's basically because I have the autoplay here set to yes. I'm gonna click no here and it'll stop uh, playing. So this brings me to my next step actually is configure the rest of the options here. I'm going to choose no to allow full screen. I'm gonna keep no on autoplay. I'm gonna keep no on auto buffer. Uh, my player stretching, player stretching, I'm going to go with exact fit and player controls, let's just go with show on mouse over. Now choose the skin, let's go with this one here. Okay, and the last couple options here, show video shadow border, I'm going to stick with yes here and remove player's watermark. If you are a standard user, you will not be able to remove the watermark, the VU player watermark. If you're a pro user, you can remove that. Uh, basically, you just click yes, you add your watermark image URL. So if you have an image of your brand or your website, you can add that here. And then the watermark URL is the URL, the website that your visitor will be taken when they click on your watermark. So I'm gonna stick with no here. And we're gonna go ahead and scroll down to overlays. Um, now an overlay is basically going to be either text or an image that will appear on your video at any time that you like. And, it can, and you can also set for how long it stays on your video. So let's assume you have a one minute video, okay? A one minute video and at the 50 second mark, you wanna put a link to check out more videos. Okay, now it's as easy as just adding your text here. Okay, and we'll put the URL, highlight it, and click on the edit link. And let's just say, you know, type in domain.com slash more videos. Okay. So this is going to be where the visitor is going to be taken when they click on the overlay. Click OK. Um, a couple other options you can choose here. Uh, you, you can change the background color here. You can put in the HTML code if you would like, or you can just use this um, this wizard here to choose your color. Uh, now, the next part here is the start time. This is when the um, when the overlay is going to start showing on your video. So, like I said before, let's say you had a one minute video, and at the 50 second point, you want to uh, this overlay to show. Just put in 50 seconds here. And the duration, let's say you want it for the rest of the video. So it's a 60 second video. You want the duration to be 10 seconds. Okay, now you're going to um, choose the position. So uh, I'm going to choose top center and then the, the, box, the uh, size of the overlay box. Let's go with uh, large. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, and this last part here is we choose either text or image overlay. Now let's say I want to add an image overlay as well to the video. You can actually add as many overlays as you want. I'll go ahead and click and add another. Um, now just for simplicity's sake, I'll use the same image. 
I'll go ahead and click on the insert edit image icon here, put in the URL, and it's gonna preview it as you can see in this little box. Um, let's change the width to 40, and it already added 30 in to keep the dimensions the same. And you're gonna get a little preview here. Click OK, and you're gonna get a little preview here. Uh, same idea as before, you can change the background color, um, the start time, let's say you want this to appear after 20 seconds, and you want it to stay for 20 seconds. So again, this is going to appear at the 20 second mark, and it's going to stay on your video for 20 seconds. And again, you pick the position, the overlay, box size, and you're gonna choose image overlay. Now you're done with that, you just go ahead and click on save changes. Oh, I didn't add a player name. To click uh, to add a, add a player name, just click on edit title. I will just name this video one. Okay, and then you click on save changes. After you save your changes, after you save your changes, you go ahead and click on get code. Little window comes up with your code. And if you just hover over this little window, you're gonna see another little icon here. And I guess I got it to come up here. Copy to clipboard, just click on that. It's gonna to copy to your clipboard automatically. I'll click okay. Okay, click close. And if I'll just go to a test blog here, and I already have a, um, a, uh, a post here. Just go to the HTML section. And let's say I want the video to show after this paragraph. I'm just gonna paste the code here. Go back to visual and you can see your video is gonna be right there. It's a little preview. And that's all there is to it. Publish it and your video is going to show on your post. Um, if you have any other questions, you can go ahead and send us a, an email to our support desk and we're going to uh, upload a couple other videos here as well. Uh, so thanks for watching.